The lights are set. The theater is dimmed. But today there is no performance. The people who've come to Janine's Freedom Theater are here not for a show, but rather to honor its slain co-director. Giuliano Merjamis was shot just meters away from the playhouse. He was holding his infant in his arms at the time. This is an, a crime against culture and against art. He killed them there in the car and he just walked back in a very cold way. It means that this killer, he was well-organized, high-professional killer. It's not only someone who was holding gun and coming to do something, so this is a plan. Though he was an Israeli citizen born to a Jewish mother and an Arab Christian father, Meir Hamis spent much of his last 15 years promoting the theater here in Jenin, home to thousands of Palestinians who in 1948 fled what is now Israel. His students say they are shocked by his murder. They called him their Malcolm X. For me, he's a father. He's, uh, it's more, he's a godfather for us. He's a, he's a teacher of what the meaning of the freedom, what the meaning of uh, human, what the meaning of culture, what the meaning to be actor, professional, to challenge the propaganda Israeli and they do it about us. He, told, he always told us, you should to challenge yourself before you challenge the, your enemy. In a region so often defined by black and white, Meir Hamis lived in the gray. In doing so, he managed to anger nearly everyone involved in the conflict. Palestinian groups criticized his productions as being too provocative. He, in return, criticized them for speaking only with guns. And he repeatedly challenged Israel's occupation of the Palestinian territory. Occupation means mentally, physically, closing you in, uh, in uh, corners, uh, putting you in a place just only, uh, you will be busy only for food. Without finding life, joy, fun, art, uh, freedom of speech. And this is what we are trying to create for the children, young and adults and everyone. A new theater house is currently under construction, but building had stopped due to permit issues. Janine's governor says that will be fixed. Sure, we will help them to get a permit. We helped them already to build the first theater, and we will continue to help because it is Palestinian culture and we'll never be ashamed of our culture. Directly behind me is the governor's office. Now, perhaps the clearest indication of his support is simple geography. Just a few steps to my left, and you can actually see the infrastructure for the new theater. Organizers say once it's open, once it is operational, it will show the world that the city of Janin is committed to preserving Mer Hamis's message. It's a message perhaps most clearly stated by the man himself. We hope that this theater will generate a political, artistical movement of artists who are going to raise their voice against, against women discrimination, against ch children discrimination, against uh, uh, violence, unnecessary violence against civilians, uh, to generate a new, a new, uh, to bring back the just cause. We are not terrorists. Now, Mayor Hamisa's students will have big shoes and empty seats to fill. And they'll have to do it without him. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV, Janine.